good morning. So I finally got my Mega 360 in, and uh, assuming by the title of this video you wanted to check that out, how to install it and such. Uh, I, so I just bought me a 2019 ZX250. I'm gonna do a walkthrough on it. I'm gonna make a video of a walkthrough and maybe like a boat run on the test. I got this thing up to about 80 miles an hour. I didn't realize it was flash when I bought it. Uh, it's only got 26 hours, but uh, anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and take out the contents of the box and then we'll get started from there. All right, so. Looks like we got the transducer itself. We've got some hardware, brackets. We've got the brackets for the old tracks. Cables, power cable. All right, I believe I got all the tools out that we need. Let's get started. All right, so there's only one way this bracket this plate goes onto your trolling motor. There's four holes. You're going to take your half inch bolts. And I'm just going to hand tighten them down here. And then you're going to take your bracket, take your three eighths bolts. And this is a little weird, <laughs> but there's the big hole here in the center. And then there's two here. And you want this to line up on the outside like such. And then I'm going to thread it through that way. Install the pod and transducer. We're going to run the um, cables through your bracket here. And I went ahead and put my set screws in already. I haven't tightened them down though, of course. One of the main things you want to be concerned about is making sure the bottom of this transducer is at least one inch away from your prop so your prop never hits it. And also, you want the rounded edge to face where the bow is facing. So that looks about right whenever we deploy it. I'll we'll check that out here in a second. And tighten up the set screws a little bit. I like the height. Looks like it's going to be a 530 seconds Allen wrench head. Okay, last thing we got here is the collar. You got a little rubber garment that fits into the groove here on the trolling motor. Let's see if I can get in here. This fits right here. And what this does is it keeps your trolling motor from going down in, into the water uh, and, and keeping that prop from hitting that transducer. Say if maybe you forget or something that you wanna, you know, you get in the shallower water and you wanna raise it up real quick. Well, this ain't gonna let you do it because it don't want you hitting that transducer. So. What we're going to do is add our nuts and bolts, and on the back side, it is slotted perfectly for your nut, so you can't mess it up. So we're going to put our nut in there, go ahead. So now I'm going to start with my wiring. I'm going to hook up my power cable and my transducer cable here. Um, I'm going to have to take a few things apart, such as my quick disconnect here. Make sure you get that hooked up. I'm going to go ahead and undo this so I can get in the... So it's not in my way. Um, and then I'm gonna just wire everything up. So basically here, all I do is finish wiring it up. It's basically a plug and play for me. I already had Helix units. So that was pretty standard stuff. Nothing too 
hard. So I'll just fast forward it through all this. All right, guys, so that was everything. Um, if you have any questions or comments, just drop it down below. Have a good one. Thanks for watching.